Okay, let's talk to Lita. Hasn't called in in a while, I don't think. Lita. Hey there. Yo, how's it going? It's going great. How are you? Uh, good. I wish this. Uh, I wish my work was done. I wish I was at home, you know, playing video games. But here I am talking to you. Uh, Jerks. Oh no, I'm just kidding. It's good to, good to talk to you guys. Um, okay, that's cool. Yeah, how how about you? What time is it uh, where you are? Uh, it is quarter past seven here in New Zealand. Seven a.m. or p.m. 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 Okay, wow, that's crazy. Yeah, we just gone back and now no gone forward now because it just changed to daylight savings. Yeah, so. wow, jeez, man. <laughs> it sucks. Um. um <laughs> Yeah, well, what do you think? What's uh, yeah, what brings you here tonight? Do you have a comment or a question or? Um, it's probably the first time I tuned in in like three months because I'm working two jobs now. Wow. No kidding. Yeah, I was gonna say. I think I feel like it, it had been a while. Yeah, yeah it sucks because the podcast's on and I'm at work. And actually, it was funny because yesterday I was watching your edit cast at work. Yeah. And. Two of my coworkers were wondering why I was watching you eat pizza. <laughs> I got, I and then they just stood there people. for like ten minutes watching. So. Oh, that's funny. Um. Anyway, my question is actually related <laughs> to work on a personal note, maybe. Yeah. Okay. But how do? Because I've been working nonstop since June, and I've only just managed to get leave for the first of November, oh, which okay. is great. So, how do you deal with stress? Stress. <laughs> and, um, from working yeah. a lot, basically, just kind of feeling like you're living to work, kind of? Mm-hmm. Um, well, with me, uh, personally, uh, I can't say what works for me will work for everybody, you know, obviously. But I I work really well in bursts. Uh, personally, I, you know... For the past month, I've been working and barely sleeping a lot. You know, like I've been going and going and going and going. Uh, when when my break comes, I mean, there's going to be a break coming up pretty soon for me. I commit to that break 100. percent I don't. I I'm not answering anybody's call. If you need something, you're out of luck. My phone is off. Don't call me. Don't whatever. I'm gonna be you know, out there. I'm either going to be at Disneyland or I'm going to be half asleep playing video games and that's it. That's it. I'm not, I, and I don't, you know, I get everything done ahead of time. I get my bills paid. I get my every little, you know, obligation out of the way so I can be 100% free of anything. And I guess for me, how I deal with the stress is I think about that to me is I work on the reward system. You know, I just feel like, okay, yeah. I'm going to work so hard this month but that's the light at the end of the tunnel is I'm just going to have just a blissful like, ah, you know, okay. But, you know, sometimes you're in the thick of it and it's like, man, there is there is kind of, it is just kind of going to keep going and it's going to keep be crazy. There's not really, it's not like there's a vacation next week or anything. And, you know, in that situation, I just make it my own. You know what I mean? Like I try to make a, a game out of it or I try to... Even though I'm working really hard, I try to work even harder just to look at it and go, damn, look, I pushed myself to the edge. All right, today I don't need to do that. But, you know, I don't know. I, I try to make myself uh, make a competition out of it, you know, a personal, I don't know if that makes any sense. But, it makes um, it, well, I work in bursts too, and yeah. it sucks sometimes because I teach after school care kids like two days a week. So I'm at this really mundane job. And then I have to find like energy, which I have nowhere from, and then just act all happy when I'm with kids. And it sucks, but. But, you know, <laughs> I think you got to look in the detail. It's the, you know, the, the, th the devil's in the details. Cause I really think like when you're working there, you got to see what a positive effect you have on those things. You know what I mean? Like sometimes you need to like, when you take a break, you need to take a step back and kind of realize like you're doing good stuff. You know what I mean? It's not like you're building missiles or something. You're, you're, you know, you're, you got to look at that and go like, I'm having a positive effect on everything around me. So, and I'm giving myself for that. And that's pretty good. You know, that's a, that's a thing to be proud of, you know? So 
I don't know. I look at that as kind of like, you know, there, there's little sacrifices we all make. Some are noticed, some aren't. But I think if you, if you know you're doing good, then I think that's, I don't know. That's kind of, every now and then you give yourself a refresher on that. I, that makes me feel good. I don't know. I don't mm -hmm. do anything really probably as positive as you. I just do stupid stuff, but you know what I'm saying? No, no. I don't you, know if that makes sense. You do positive effects on people. Your videos make me happy. When cool. I'm well, that, a really there, you day, so there you and, go. And when I hear that, honestly, there's times that I am like, I want to quit. I don't want to. Why am I doing this? This is too hard. I don't want to do this. You know, honestly, I really do. I have those thoughts every now and then because things pile up. But then, you know, like you just said, you just said that. And, and now I'm like, oh, yeah, there's people who get like a good feeling out of this. And that makes me, you know, now I want to stay up and work on eight more things. You know what I mean? So it's just about looking for that kind of effect. You know, they, you know, it'll hit mm -hmm. you in, in different ways, but it, it you know, it happens. <laughs> and my last thing I want to say, do you believe in figuring out a life path? Because I, I don't know, we're talking about life paths and everyone has a path to follow on. Or do you just believe in just taking, yeah, this is coming, whatever. I'll just take it as it comes. Um, I think you're in control. Um, everyone is definitely dealt a hand. Like, you know, some people are born into a rich family. Some people are born where, hey, everyone around you uh, you know, is a pizza maker. So you're going to make pizza. So you might be more predestined to do that if you just kind of follow the path. But you're in control. It's not like you live in, uh, you know, some kind of uh, lockdown thing or whatever. You, as far as I know, I don't live where you live, but you have control and uh, more than you think at, at any point. You could put a heart, you could put the brakes on what you're doing tomorrow and go out and go on the internet and say, hey, does anyone uh, teach me how to juggle so I can, uh, you know, do cir a circus act? You could, you could. Yeah, I'm not saying do that. That's probably a stupid idea. But you have, <laughs> you have total control, and it's important to remember that. That's what I think. But uh, you know, I don't know. When I started doing video stuff, I, I had about 90% of my friends said, wow, this is really stupid. And uh, I didn't invite them, you know? <laughs> that was it. It was like I had two friends that thought it sounded cool, and that was Derek and Sean. So, they, you know, I don't know. And look where you are. So there yeah, you go. there you go. But but there are days, I still have days where I think I did the wrong thing. I shouldn't have. I should have done something more serious. Uh, you know, when things don't work out, you that doubt floods in. That happens to me. I'm in a good mood most of the time, but even, even in the best moods, that – if something goes wrong or like a video doesn't work out or maybe a company doesn't come th doesn't pay us or you know something slips up i do have that that thought will flood in of like i picked the wrong thing why did i do this i shouldn't have why why did i think and it starts to turn into like rocco you were so arrogant you thought you could do this how stupid were you you know you should have just got a regular job you idiot I really do think that, and then, but then I take a step back, and and you know, you said five minutes ago, you, you know, you you watched a couple videos that made me happy, you made you happy, or whatever, and I look at, you know, play, I think about that, and I think about how many other people have said that, and I think about people who have gone on to make stuff because we made stuff here, and it just it turns into this chain reaction, and it's like, what am I trying to say that I shouldn't have done that? What the fuck am I talking about? I'm an idiot, you know? So, I mean, and then I actually, saying I'm an idiot makes me feel better because then I realized all those thoughts, they were stupid. I picked my path. I'm enjoying it. And, you know, I don't know if that makes any sense or whatever, but there, doubt happens to everybody. As positive or negative as you could be, it happens to everybody, but you're always in control. You ain't dead yet. So, don't worry about it. So, I Thank you for taking my call. Um, there's like, I sent your uh, package in the PO box uh, oh. yesterday afternoon. Oh, cool. Five packets of Tim Tams on your way. <laughs> so there you go. Is, no, is that <laughs> what it is, really? Oh, there's Tim Tams and chocolate, which I really hope that doesn't melt. There's a jar of Marmite in there. Okay. Oh, yeah. well, uh, all right, I'll throw that away as soon as I open the box. But those Tim Tams are mine. No, I'm just kidding. No, well, I'm not, not about the Tim Tams. I included I'm eating all those, flavors because but... I've noticed that you've only been getting the original the Tim Tams. Yeah, yeah. Well, when I was in Japan, I tried one other flavor. I don't remember what it was. There, I've seen some salted caramel. There's a red velvet one. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Oh, and that sounds so good. An orange one, I think. I can't remember now, but the, you're welcome. Damn. All right, well, thank you very, very much. I look forward to that. 
And thank you for You're the welcome. call. Great call, as always. Awesome. Have a good night. All right. Take care.